So here we have a DAF. Um, it's operated eight hours a day. Its dimensions is 20 feet wide by 38 and a half feet long and a liquid depth of six and a half feet. The plant flow is 4 MGD. The aeration basin volume is a 1.6 mg. The clarifier volume is 0.65 mg. The WAS concentration is 9150. The mixed liquor concentration is 3280. The final effluent suspended solids concentration is 11. The primary effluent BOD is 140. And our target MCRT is 6 days. And they want to know what is the DAF solids loading. Now what you need to remember is DAF solids loading is always expressed in uh, pounds per day per square foot, or pounds per hour per square foot, sorry. Um, so first off, what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video right now and I want you to look over all the data and uh, see if you can figure out this problem. And um, I'll give you a moment to do that right now. So hopefully you paused it and uh, took as long as you needed to look at the uh, the uh, given data and I hope what you noticed is that this problem is no more difficult than a grade 3 problem if you'll notice what's missing from the data uh, to do this formula we're missing a uh, wasting rate uh, how much are we wasting per day so all we have to do is we have to find the wasting rate which is a grade 3 problem and then plug that in to a um, DAF solids loading, which is another grade three problem. So essentially this is two grade three problems in one. So let's go ahead and start to solve this. So step one, we are going to find out how many solids are in our secondary system. So what I've done is I've taken the aeration basin volume and the clarifier volume, combined them, and the combined two is uh, 2.25 mg in the secondary system times 8.34 times 3280 which is our mixed liquor concentration and that'll give us 61,549 pounds of mixed liquor in the secondary system. So step two is we need to find out uh, how many pounds are leaving the system every day. So we're going to take the plant flow 4 MGD times 8.34 times the final effluent suspended solids concentration, which is 11, and we get 367 pounds of effluent TSS uh, leaving the system every single day. So for those of you that haven't figured it out by now, a wasting rate formula is the pounds in a secondary system divided by your target MCRT, subtract out the pounds of effluent TSS or SS leaving per day, and divide that all over the WAS concentration times 8.34 and we'll give you your wasting rate in MGD. So the next step is we are going to divide how many pounds are in the secondary system divided by our target MCRT which is six days and that gives us 10,258 pounds. Next step subtract how much is leaving 367 pounds of TSS, which will give us a new concentration of 9,891 pounds that we need to get rid of uh, to meet this target MCRT of six days consistently. So now let's find out, um, let's get the next part of the problem to uh, find out our MGD wasting rate, which is the WAS concentration times 8.34. So 9150 times 8.34 equals 76,311. Now all we have to do is divide 9,891 by 76,311. And what we are going to get is 0.13 MGD. So we are wasting 130,000 gallons per day. That was one grade three problem. Now we need to plug this data into... Um, our second grade 3 problem to find out the DAF solids loading. Okay, well, we're going to multiply it out. It's 130,000 gallons per day, which we already knew. Uh, so next step is, if you remember, DAF, is, DAF solids loading is pounds per hour. So we're operating this DAF in 8 hours. If we need to get rid of 130,000 gallons per day, 
how many uh, gallons do we need to get rid of in an hour? And that answer is 6,250. So in one hour of operation, I'm gonna get rid of 16,250 gallons of watts, our waste activated sludge. Uh, so I've, I've condensed this back into million gallons so that we can do a pound formula. So 0 0.01625, which is the equivalent of 16,250 million gallons per hour, notice that per hour, times 8.43, I'm sorry, that should be 8.34, times 91.50 equals, 1240 pounds per hour. And just ignore this 8.43, it's going to switch back because I haven't switched all of these. So essentially we need to waste uh, 1240 pounds per hour of was uh, to the DAF. So we're getting really close. Uh, the last part of the formula is to find out the square feet, which is an area. So we're going to ignore this liquid depth, it doesn't matter at all. So we're going to take 20 feet wide by 38 and a half feet long, which gives us 770 square feet. And all we're going to do now is simply divide 1240 by 770, which will give us a grand total answer of 1.6 pounds per hour per square foot. So you can see this problem uh, wasn't much harder than... Um, any grade three problem that they would have thrown at you. Uh, the only difference was that instead of a wasting rate or a DAF solids loading formula, uh, they gave you both combined into one. So this problem really shouldn't have panicked you that much if you're familiar with grade three math. And if you're not, you can always go back and watch all of my grade three videos to freshen up a little bit, uh, which I recommend because the grade four and five is no joke. Uh, it was a really tough test. I, I still don't know exactly how I passed my grade four, but uh, somehow I did it. Um, so yeah, so not much harder than a grade three. It's just gonna take more um, understanding of how to read all this data that they've given you because it was up to you to find out oh, I'm missing uh, the wasting rate. So they've given me enough information to give the wasting rate. So it's two, two problems in one. Uh, so if you need to, rewind it, watch it slower um, to figure it out. Uh, but for now, we are going to move on.